Has this ever happened to you? Bruh. Holy shipping and handling, that was completely pathetic. Do you want to be a 9 to 5 white collar spy getting squashed like a roach after one lousy backstab? No, I see it in your eyes. You want to be a big shot. You're a dreamer just like me. You want to sink an entire enemy push with a flick of your finger. You want to stab an engineer. You want the hope to drain from his expression as he realizes that nobody even knows he's gone. And you're headed straight for his sentry. We don't need disguise kits where we're going, kid. We're dreamers. We've been 9 to 5 spies our whole stinking lives and we know what we want. <clears throat> And we deserve a reward, don't we? When I started playing TF2, the eternal reward was a joke. The only way you could disguise with it was by stabbing somebody, which made it absurdly hard to get any kills, much less sap a dispenser. But when they buffed it to let you disguise at the cost of a full cloak, it didn't really seem like anybody noticed. I mean, you don't see people using the reward all that often, right? But whenever I see somebody who does, it's not uncommon that they cut loose and completely sweep the server. The best spies I see that aren't 10,000 hour kunai warshippers are the ones who realize that the eternal reward is actually really good. So good, in fact, that I don't even know where to start on the list of positives. How about... disguises? I hear people say this a lot. Oh, spies' disguises don't fool anybody. Listen, I spend most of my time on Uncle Topia on account of I don't like bots, I don't like random crits, and I do like Uncle Dane. And on Uncle Topi, you generally start to notice an upshift in experience, as there's less new players and more old ones, which results in a pretty noticeable skill difference from casual. That being said, when it comes down to it, people fall for this crud just as much as they do on Valve servers. Still, there's more to it than just not disguising a scout. Acting is an important part of the Eternal Ward's playstyle, but you also don't have to be Daniel Day-Lewis to check people. Here, see the sniper? Good eye! No you don't, I'm the sniper now. Okay, now that I'm here, nobody notices anything weird if I just stand around and stare at an engineer. And one, and two. It's that easy. Hey, staying on the topic of overly contrived trickery, the Eternal Reward offers up one of the most powerful spy moves known to humankind. The Medic Steal. I get this horrible non-backstab, and look who's ready to greet me! My next victim! Say what you want, but that'll always be funny. Even better than that is when you get handed a free Uber for your troubles. Don't ask how that guy didn't see me stab the pyro, this happens way more often than it should. But I got something even sweeter than a stolen uber charge. The eternal reward gives Spy access to a move that he can't normally pull off. The push diffuser. Moving through enemies without making any sound gives a free reign to run from one kill to the next. With the reward, there is no sweeter delicacy than a well-spaced enemy push. Look at this. That heavy's not even gonna notice when I take out his medic. All the fancy unusuals and comp medals in the world couldn't save their souls now. And thus... <sighs> If this looks like a blast to you, then I want you to know that this stuff isn't a rare occurrence with the reward. I'm not going to talk down on the other knives, but what I want to say here is that I was never a big spy guy. The basic playstyle that the knife and its varieties provide are fun, but coming from somebody who doesn't have 5,000 hours on the class, it feels more like a means to a cheap kill than anything else. Playing default spy just always gave me a feeling of, I'm not doing anything that I couldn't be doing better with a different class. If these are symptoms that you have experienced in the last 1,604 days, please contact your local inventory to see if you are eligible for your eternal reward. Side effects may include getting stuck behind enemy lines with no cloak, needing to use the Letranger all the time, having the enemy team get sick of your crud and making your life hell, getting stuck as a heavy for way longer than you'd like, not being able to use the dead ringer, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. With only 10 purchases of 15 keys, you too can receive compensation. You too deserve a reward.